And the example, I'm going to show you some examples of experimentally measured uh, uh, thing. This is our again, one over kappa, the violence related to ionic strength, which is I, right? And of course, the rest of the terms. And ionic strength is given in this way. Z for charge on individual ion. M would be the concentration for individual ion. And we do summation of all the ions, positive, negative, add them together. And we see, depending on electrolyte, different uh, what? concentration, we are going to have a, the higher the concentration, the lower the, the balance, which means the double layer got squeezed. The double layer got squeezed, okay? And uh, if we can assume we are dealing with colloidal particles, 200 nanometer, not too fine, not too big, quite often used in ceramic, like uh, DuPont TiO2, roughly this particle size, uniform, highly uniform. And if we have a surface um, potential 50 millivolt, and uh, one over kappa, take the number 30 nanometer, and the uh, separation distance, again, also 30 nanometer. We are using something like this. Two spherical particles separated by small h, center to center, capital H is from center to center. And of course we said, okay, when H is much smaller than radius. Our radius is 200. Here, the separation, 30. Okay, so it kind of satisfies this relationship. We can approximate the one force interaction for interaction energy by this one, okay? So the one force interaction energy we can estimate roughly we get a number. Plug the number in, right? A this one comes from so called Hamaka constant, which more or less on this order. Okay? And the particle size, this is A, and the separation distance, we get a estimation of the so called one the force attractive potential energy. And the thermal energy, last time we mentioned is roughly on the order of KT, right? It's roughly on the order of KT, which is you know the temperature, ambient temperature, you get this number. One volts, attractive energy, and thermal activation or thermal knocking, kinetic energy. And then electrical repulsion energy. Of course, we, we probably used the, the relationship that we said before. Two particles with certain distance, we can approximate the energy to be something like this plug the number in, we will get this. What does that mean? It means, okay, if our particles are this size, our separation is this far away, and if we already, the surface already got covered by certain charge that gives a, gives it a surface potential energy of this value, then in this case, the electrostatic repulsion kind of energy would be significantly higher than one volt energy. Make sense? And roughly, kind of like a much higher. What does that mean? The, it means the one volt attractive energy of force is not enough to overcome the repulsive force. They are going to stay happy for certain nanometer separation or even long, long. Make sense? 30 nanometer or even longer. And of, of course, we may find certain distance that they reach a, a equilibrium. Remember the exercise that I asked you to do, we can estimate at certain distance the so-called stable solid loading. That kind of determines how much you can put the solid into the suspension depending on the separation distance and your particle size, okay? Okay, so um, 
the colloidal suspension as we look at here, the example here would be stable against agglomeration, soft agglomeration. 